Well, the weather for the whole of the south of England will continue as it has for the next few weeks. It's going to be hot and moist, with temperatures rising steadily as time goes on. There's a chance of steamy moments as we move into the... Ah, sod it. We never wanted to do this. We never wanted to be weathermen and women, making innuendos about hot atmospheres and drizzly countries. We didn't want to be child-friendly. We didn't want to bang on about being for over 18s only. We want to talk about our sexy adventures. We want to be lifestylers, leaping from bush to bush as we say down the rivers of British sex clubs and mountains of crazy experiences. The cheeky purple mamba, the liquid silk pumped liberally into our hand, the rodeo classic brief harness complete with Tantus curve, the enjoy pure one stainless steel dildo, the hot octopus digit, the ever so short messages on fab swingers, the sexy friends on Twitter, and the mighty vanilla alternative. With my best girlie by my side, we'd swing, swing, swing. Get in the gym or to your car. With our advice, you could go far. We fuck things up and we make mistakes. We talk about our sexy dates. It's getting hard for this to rhyme. Just as well, cause it's bad. Time. <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode 102 of the Bed Hoppers podcast. My name's Mr. H. And Mrs. H. Thank you for joining us today. I want to say before we get started mm-hmm. that something miraculous, something amazing, something incredible has happened. Is it me losing one pound? <laughs> I haven't lost a pound. That's a lie. <laughs> really? Did Have you been gambling again? <laughs> What's the amazing thing that happened? Uh, I got my hair cut. Yay! I know everybody was very, very concerned about my mental health and well-being, Mm-mm. but you'll all be pleased to know that I went to my hipster barbers and got my hair cut. I am so happy. You know what's even better? I've got another haircut booked in for like a month's time. Oh my God. You are unstoppable. I, <laughs> insatiable. <laughs> all the power has gone to your head now. Well, I know. Ironically, I'm like a sort of reverse Samson. The more you <laughs> cut my hair, the more powered up I am. I think you're right. It's like some kind of like Disney fanfare waiting yeah, like I, birds flocking to you, like literally birds I've of the avian been variety. I've dreaming of true love's kiss. Has it made you 80% more Gaston? It, it has. That wasn't a Gaston No, song. I know. It was that fella from Enchanted. Enchanted. No, yeah, great film. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Anyway. <laughs> My review was excellent. <laughs> yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, mm-hmm. And before we jump in, dive in, swim in the topic that we've got for you today, mm-hmm. uh, I want to say... A, a thank you, I guess, to to Rich and Lauren from Room Seventy Seven for um, oh. yeah referencing us in their last show. Yeah. It's the only one to listen to. No, it's not. You've listened to a number. <laughs> Don't pretend. You've been forced to listen to a number of podcasts. Enforced podcast listening. Yeah, but this be a crime. So, in terms of, uh, I mean, you listen to it because you, you make me. Yeah, <laughs> but also normally you listen to something if you're mentioned. Well, I didn't know I was mentioned. Like a budgery garden in a cage, <laughs> appreciating oh, so one's mirror image. <laughs> please talk about me, please, in a nice way. You are at least more budgery garden than I am. Well, you know, my haircut is a little bit... In fact, if I had a budgie, I would call it Gaston. My hair is up a quite quite a lot it at the moment. Up. Mm. So that's up. because I heard that you like a cock or two. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, we just want to say a thank you, I think, to Rich and Lauren for mentioning us at the end of their show. If you haven't listened to them before, please go and do that. Um, do remember to come back and listen to us. Um, you know, don't just jump ship or listen to both of us. That would be good. Not at the same time. We, you it's can late. do. That would be quite good. You could. There are episodes where we are on the same show. Oh, yeah, yeah that's true. So yeah. you could listen to all four of us at once. Okay. Yeah, if yeah. you really so desired. Anyway, cheers, guys. So this time around, we are talking about the murky, the dark, the terrible <laughs> side of the web. It's like a dark web. <laughs> the dark web. We went onto the dark web and typed in Swinger to see what we oh could find. Oh, my God. Find. Actually, if you did go onto the dark web and typed in Swinger, what do you think would happen? Uh, the like FBI would show up. And we're not even in the right <gasps> country for that. Oh, it'd be really scary, wouldn't it? You could find all sorts of shit on that. Yeah, but you, the idea of the dark web both both intrigues you and scares the shit out it of you. It really does. I'm like, too law-abiding to try it, but I'm really compelled to look. See, 
the, the dichotomy of Mrs. H is that she loves the dark side. I do. But she's also scared shitless of police. I really am. I'll cry if one comes up to me. <laughs> I'm so law abiding. Well, I remember when you jumped some some lights some going back on. Yeah, and yeah, my, it, my racer days. In, in, I don't know if you were in your Fiat Five. I think you were in your day of it all things. It was in the even slower in car. In the <laughs> Yeah. Racing along and jumped three lights in a row, which I was a bit sort of... I mean, it's impressive for a shit car. I, I think it's because the skip had no brakes and had to keep going otherwise it would stop anyway when you, i was like well that's a bit fucking risky the first time second time you what are you doing and third time I was like holy shit and then the policeman Woo. came up on his bike or whatever got off and sort of walked out towards the, the car and immediately mrs h started crying i started crying i'm so sorry i didn't mean to do a wrongsy and he proceeded to tell me off on a dual carriageway <laughs> It was, a, it was a by road. It wasn't a dual Well, anyway, right? he told me off and yeah. I cried a lot. You did. It didn't and I help shook you. all the way home. <laughs> just just sort of doing that sort of upset snuffle. The, ah, like when kids ah, fall over yeah, and they're yeah. like... <laughs> exactly yeah, that. Exactly so that. The point I'm making is I really want to see what's on the dark web because, you know, it sounds terrible yeah. and enthralling, but at the same time, very illegal. To be fair, I don't even want to see what's on regular Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck the dark web is going to bring to us, I have no idea. I've got this feeling it's like um, just a, a smorgasbord of things like bitcoins. <laughs> cheese. And It's could, illegal cheese. It, oh my God, what do you think is illegal cheese? Uh, that cheese that has that sort of the alive, wormy things that live in it. What? Yeah, that's a that proper cheese. That sounds gross. Apparently it's very expensive, but it's illegal to move it from country to country often or something mm. like that. I seem to recall this being a thing. I may have dreamt it, but... It if you, any of you out there have perused the dark web for non-nefarious purposes, please tell me what it's like. <laughs> it's very I don't dark. Want to, I don't want to look at it myself, but please can someone tell me so I can live vicariously through you. It's really hard to navigate it because <laughs> all the fonts are dark as well, so you have to highlight them to I've see what's... I've got this image in my head that it's like teletext or the old like CFAX we used to have, which was like a black screen with bright green font. And like when you Matrix. open it, it goes... Ee! Yeah, like the Matrix or something. And then all the screens will suddenly start like running down with like lots of numbers decoding themselves or like lost when they do all the, the symbols. Uh, okay. That's in my head what the dark web is like. All right. Do you think it's like that? No. Oh. <laughs> I imagine it's very much like the web. What, like Google? Yeah. Except Schmoogle or something. <laughs> Schmoogle. Um, Google. <laughs> okay, there's a reason why we don't trust you with any kind of renaming of things, isn't there? <laughs> hey, in fact, actually, all right, uh, hold that thought. You know what it is? It's actually, <laughs> Ask Jeeve disappeared, right? And he and he went onto the dark web, and now it is Tell Jeeves. <laughs> tell Jeeves what you want. I need a hitman. <laughs> yeah, I want some drugs, isn't it? Come on, Jeeves, sort that shit out. My internet looked like the Matrix. I want to be Batman. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible on the dark web. I'm just oh, assuming. Oh, I miss us, Jeeves. And I still put questions into Google. You can do that. Yeah, I know, but I think that's because I've got muscle memory <laughs> from when it all used to be Dear us, Jeeves. Mr. Google, Jeeves. <laughs> Where? What is the capital of... Is that how Ask it goes? Jeeves used to be sat, like, stood there with this waiter kind of thing and a silver tray with a drink on it. Yeah. And then he'd have this inquiring little, you want to ask me anything? So I would type a question in. I wouldn't actually put, I don't know, um, shed. For example, if I wanted to shed, I'd go, where can I find a shed? <laughs> And I still do that. On Google, you're like, dear, dear Mr. Google, I where ask can I Google find a shed? I Google questions all the time. You can do I, that. My search is never like a statement. It's always a question. Google is clever enough to, um, to be fair, it though. It is clever, isn't right, it? You probably don't even need to ask Google where, you know, how to find a shed. You've just only got to mention the word shed in our house. And Alexa will then I And mean, Facebook will show me some yeah. algorithm with loads of sheds on it. Yeah, you'll be yeah, like, that's uh, I've never mentioned the word Maybe shed. Maybe Alexa is attached to the dark web. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe she just listens to our dreams and stalks us in our I sleep. I shouldn't listen to last night's dream. <laughs> oh dear, your dreams are always absolutely <laughs> fucking mental. Anyway, the reason why we are talking about the dark side of the web mm. is because we have been looking at all the different swinger sites that are out there. I say all the different ones. We've mostly been focused in the UK and we've picked a number of them to go through today. This is probably going to be a two-parter, maybe even a three or four or five-parter, depending on how many we find. I think at the last count, Mrs. H, how many? 28. 28 different sites. And that sites. was just me asking Google a question. <laughs> Dear Mr. Google, how many swinging sites are there available in That's the UK? not what I asked Google. I can tell you what I asked Google. What did you ask him? I said, 
um, where do I find swingers really? or something along those lines? You go around a supermarket and look for the upside down pineapple. Well, that's what I asked Google. Really? Where and do I find swingers or something along those lines? And I literally found tons and tons and hang tons on, of sites. Hang on. Let me just back this up a second. You weren't looking for actual swingers. You were looking for the TV show that you're on. You just wanted to watch yourself <laughs> like a budgerigard. No, that's not, I don't, want to, I don't want to keep watching Pretty. that. I've seen it enough, thank you. You've seen it enough. Okay, fine. <laughs> no, I asked Google, <laughs> you asked Google. How, how to find swingers and it came up with all these you know, suggestions and the majority of them were sites that you could join look at peruse i've had a fishing rod out the window with a pineapple (laughs) outside and i was just shocked how many there were and a lot of them i hadn't heard of a few of my had a ton of different sites Mm. and a number of people have been in touch with us recently to say they've created a new site yes and another number of uh, listeners have been in touch to say hey what is the best site to to view in the uk How, how do i find people what's what's a busy site what's a good looking site all this kind of stuff so we thought we'd do the most bare amount of research available <laughs> bare minimum shall i say not bare yes bear would suggest a lot thanks to the kids lingo oh yeah yeah there's ah, bear like, peng. Like bear peng yeah there's bear loads of sites yeah i think loads is is extra you there, oh, there's extra, bare extra. sites there's be- bare but sites would mean that there's lots yeah, of you're sites right. yeah. i've got an extra word in there look there's at bear sites down with the kids lingo. apparently I, I, this is like lingo from like 10 years ago so christ knows what people are but if you put bear sites on the dark web what would it bring <laughs> um, i think that's a very very different approach Can someone to life please try it and let me know when you look under the rocks and plants and take a glance at the fancy ants and maybe try a few i don't think it'll bring that up no okay mm. fine it reminds me actually of, of when when i was with my ex many 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 years ago oh yeah um her sisters were really really into boys <laughs> <laughs> Where was this going? Well, and, and they typed, I think it but was Boyzone. But you're boy into Boyzone. Don't love me the stronger. <laughs> anyway, um, they typed Boyzone into a computer. I think it was like boyzone.com. And it was not Stephen Gately and Ronan Keaton that showed up. No, no, what was their, it? Their 10 or 11 year old sisters um, were regaled with lots of oh uh, young days. men doing lots of I'm going to type Boyzone into the website afterwards and see what I find. Okay, you can Mm. do that. But anyway, we're here today to talk about swinging sites. So we've picked uh, four today. Yeah. Uh, that we thought we'd talk about, um, and we weren't. We're not going to talk about the the ones that you know, like Fab. We've mentioned a lot the big guns uh, <laughs> because we know that is the busiest or the one that has the most members in the UK. Yeah, it has a lot of footfall, doesn't it? So you know, they are pretty big, and it's the one that most people refer to when they're talking about where can I find someone. And yeah, people mostly say, "Ah, oh, Fab." And we've talked about Fab a lot in recent episodes. Where I'm, I'm not convinced that it is the worst thing out there. I just think that it has a lot of people, and some of those people be breed some bad behaviours. I think there's some admin problems and some other things. But we'll come on to Fab in probably another episode again because you know we, it's not like we yeah. can go out just yet and create new content. So uh, yeah. looks like you guys are stuck listening to this. It's still being well, good. You don't have to. You <laughs> could actually you know put this down and go outside, or even better, you could put this on your headphones and wander outside. Okay. Which which is great as long as you're not watching us on YouTube because then you have to carry your TV around with you. You'd do that, wouldn't you? I probably would. You would actually carry a TV around with you. I would. Yeah, I could mm. I could I could get away with that. Anyway, so we've picked some some sites that Mrs. H has googled or that people have mentioned to us recently or that we've seen a lot of activity on Twitter around uh, to mm. talk about. So we've you know, enough of a preamble. We've done a good 10 or so 11 minutes of, of waffling, which which to be fair is probably the minimal amount for us. Absolutely. So the first one that I want to talk about is silverswingers.co. <laughs> now, Silver Swingers. It it looks okay on, on a computer. First things first, like how does it look? I think mm. it looks all right. It it's, does. It's it got looks like a right. menu across the top. It tells you username in the top right corner. It tells you how many people are online, how many friends you got, how many people are in chats, all this sort of stuff that's that's in there. I'm not so sure it looks so good on a mobile. So the the context of silver in any kind of website, so for example, there's silver surfers, silver swinger, anything with the silver going Not on. Lauren Rudd. I don't know. I'm That's just, the silver surfer, is isn't it? it? Yeah. I don't know his name. Well, obviously you would because you're very geeky. Um, <gasps> so by implication, silver swingers is actually referring to a slightly older demographic. That's, think? that's the aim of its site. Is that the aim of the site? That is the aim of its site. It's basically giving you an opportunity to bypass much, much younger people and find more like-minded 
people in your particular age group. Although it does give you facility to look for younger people. Yeah. I think it's actually, it's aimed at a slightly older demographic. Is it not referencing a standard, like a silver standard no. of swinger? Like they've, no. I don't know, done more press-ups or they I think if you were just to do a rudimentary search of, you know, swingers over 40 or something, it would it would say that this site is aimed at putting you in contact with slightly older people. Now, by old, again, subjective, you know, is anyone over 40 in their we're old now category? Oh, I feel it. <laughs> but that's that's the aim of it. It's not alluding to, as you say, a standard like gold, silver and bronze. It's saying you can find older people here. Okay. I didn't get that. I yeah. mean, you're the one that signed up to this particular site. Oh, lucky me. I know, lucky you. <laughs> um, so I didn't see any of that. I just got straight into the, the menu once you'd given me the password, mm-hmm. etc. Um, Interesting that you didn't actually get that, though. Well, you no, didn't and see it, that. it doesn't say that. Often I would expect some sort of tagline, you know, like, Silver mm. Swingers, the only site with real swingers aged 30 and above, or something like that. Yeah, I know. It says it kind of in the preamble on Google before you click on it. Okay. But once you're in it, it doesn't necessarily doesn't mention that. carry on with that. Okay, fair enough. So um, looking at it, I mean, it feels a little bit cluttered. I'm not sure where to go here. It does pop up with new messages in the in, in the corner. It's kind of got lots of stuff going on. But it feels relatively clean in terms of the way that it's structured. So you've got matches that are going up there. You've got top photos, top videos. There's a bit around staying safe on the site, which is quite useful. You know, there's, there's a, you know, that we've checked the data as well on this thing. So mm-hmm. that all their policies around data and they give a number of assurances around that. Now, I want to point out that we're not data experts here in any stretch of the imagination. The, the most due diligence we've done is ask people if they have a, a data policy, if it's not immediately available mm. or if it's uh, or, or clicked on it, if it, if it is there and immediately sort of visible. So but as far as I can tell, using my non-level of ex- expertise, they at least proclaim that to look after your data, yeah, which is important. I agree. Um, the site also has a, a slight kind of Tinder vibe going on in that it gives you the ability to say hot or not or yes or no to pictures that come up in that, that profile. Oh, kind like of... matches. So you like yeah. So on our screen, it says matches, a couple looking for fun with a lady or couple seeking similar, and it gives a little bit of blurb about them, and then it gives you a no or yes. But a cross or a heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's... But yes, it is giving you, it's kind of um, channeling a little bit of a Tinder swipe left, swipe right kind of thing, yeah. I think. So numbers wise, and this is always really important, this one says that it's got, I mean, at the moment it says there's 37,977 online. Right. When we looked the other day, there was uh, 42,000 plus or so. You know what? I'm not sure how accurate that is. I don't believe it for a moment. I'm, I'm not utterly convinced. The same six things keep scrolling up in front yeah, of me. I've <laughs> not it. Se- seen a massive amount of interaction. Now, what I will say is this is a paid for site. So, hmm. And we have not paid for this one. Um, and I'll go into why in just a moment. But the cost is one month is 25 quid. That's expensive. Which is expensive. Or 10 pound a month for 12 months yeah so it's not cheap and you need to pay to unlock the messages and some of the other elements and on so, a free level you can just browse it you can look around but you can't get really a sense of it. do much without paying yeah yeah now it's got sort of uh different things on there it's got articles it's got blogs it's got events it's got forums uh, I'm not sure how recent some of these things are. Having had a bit of a look around, some of them feel like they've been there a little while or that people aren't posting on a regular basis, which leads me to, initially led me to believe that I wasn't sure how real this site was. <laughs> then we started doing a bit of research into this site. Yeah, you start poking around and you start uncovering a few things. Yeah, so what it does say on uh, the details around the site is that it apparently uses, and this is information that we found elsewhere, um, it can use fake profiles to lure you in and sends you messages from those fake profiles. So when you're on the free stuff, it will send you things that look like it. They're, mm. they're designed for you. Like, you know, we live we live on the south coast of the UK. It will tell us that there's lots of people that are in the south, south of the UK mm-hmm. that are all interested in meeting us. Mm-hmm. And it feels really disingenuous. It doesn't come across as real. Now, as a result of this approach and having done a basic amount of research, I wasn't keen on chucking any kind of credit card no. or payment information into this site. I agree. Um, so for that reason, it's difficult for us to give it a proper rating because I'm I'm very wary of, of what this is. Now, mm. people out there that might use this, and I'd say this for every site, I'm sure we're going to shit on the site that you you talk about in some way <laughs> or that you like in some way. And if that's the case, we're sorry. We're just giving our kind of opinions on what we've experienced and what we've looked at. So 
you know, if you go on this site and you absolutely love it and it works for you, great. Fair play to you. What I will say is looking at the numbers on this site, I think this is about uh, this site is a worldwide thing. It's part of a bigger conglomerate. So those numbers uh, yeah. may well be for people that are in the US, mm. people that are in, I don't know, Russia or people that are somewhere else. So I don't think the number of people in the UK is, is that high. So do you think there's like a, a centralised uh, owner of a multiple number of sites then? Yeah, and I think yeah. that's that's probably a sensible thing to do if you're, if you're starting up a Swinger site is to have one thing that you can hoik out to, to countries all over the world. That way, if you're travelling as well, you don't have to pay for another site. You don't have to pay for Fab when you come to the UK mm. or SLS or whatever it is, or Cassidy. You've just got one site. So concept-wise, that's absolutely great. I just think that the number of people that are on there comes across potentially as disingenuous if that's referring to the bigger picture. Mm, I agree. So I'd like to know how many people are on in the UK. Because if there were 40,000 people, 40,000 people on there, <laughs> I'd expect to see a lot more messages, a lot more blogs, a lot more information coming through. Because just by the sheer numbers, if you look at the forums in Fab, for example, which which sort of has similar numbers mm -hmm. often, um, you, you, there's a constant stream. There's a, you know, you can go any time of day or night and there's always someone on there that's going to say hello or wink at you or talk to you on a forum or whatever. So for that reason, I'm wary of this site. I agree. Is there um, a cam... Um, thing in this the cam so, thing. So, is the ability is there an ability to to do live cam stuff? Um, I don't think there is. is there? I'm not sure. There's definitely galleries, events. Uh, there might be. There's I mean, like a a chat function from yeah. what I can see. I mean, I, to but... be fair, I do like the events thing. It's set up as a nice calendar, and it looks. Mm. There's all these little um, circular pictures of people. Um, and you can see what's going on on that particular day. Now, it's not necessarily local to you. It just could be anything that's happening. But the fact is, is that we clicked on today. It's a Saturday that we're recording this. And there's, uh, there's four people on there that mm -hmm. have put stuff on for, for, for this day. Now, I would expect there to be mm -hmm. more, than, more, yeah. than, more than that. Even during the COVID times, you know, we're in this process now where people um, are able to go out and have a drink in a pub or sort of speak to each other in the gardens, I would expect to see more there. So for, I'm not convinced that this thing is real. It's, I'm very, very wary about it, to be honest. Mm, I'm very wary of parting with money to, yeah. to poke even more into it. Yes, I yeah. agree. So we're going to move on mm. to the next one, right? All right. This is Clubhouse one-to-one. -one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So my, my first impression, actually, just looking at the, the front landing page here that we've we've come into now, um, the majority of the images in front of me is like playing Guess Who. So it's this like <laughs> uh, childlike kind of um, emojis with, with expressionless faces, because I'm assuming that's because people haven't put their own pictures on there. Well, or is it because it's a paid thing to see? Um, I'm not sure. So this one is all free. Okay. So that answers that question. Now, what, this is one of those sites where we, um, someone had mentioned it to us a number of times, so th we thought we'd have a have a bit of a look and 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 see. Um, I hadn't heard of it, I'll be honest, until someone reached out and, and mentioned it. And so we clicked on the link on Twitter, and I think we made a post about it. The front page of the website looks like, um, especially if you're clicking on mobile, if you look at clicking on, on a computer or a laptop or whatever, it looks slightly different mm -hmm. because like a, there's a nice video that's playing in the background. But the yeah. the weird pink and blue and yellow type stuff looks like every virus lading advert that you've ever seen in your entire life. So I didn't know if it was a genuine site or not. So jokingly, we said, you know, I need to go and have a sit down shower, scrub <laughs> after, you know, and, and make sure my wallet doesn't look at anywhere near this site because <clears throat> it's probably going to steal my credit card information. I think it's like if you if you were to just Google some generic porn, you know, I go again with my dark web. <laughs> <laughs> but if you were just to Google anything porn related, you get like, you know, lots of little pop-ups, don't you? Like they all pop up with like, oh, Jasmine wants to chat or live chat here or this, that and the other. And you do get that kind of vibe of something flashing in the background, inviting you to but, put your credit card in or something. But Jasmine said she chatted only to me. She lied. Winch. So you're right, though. I think there is a there is a kind of vibe of that, and I think the actual site, when you get into it, has that um, old sort of MySpace kind of vibe to it, mm. um, where it, it it doesn't have a polished look and feel. Not to say it doesn't have its uses, but I think from a looks wise, it feels very old school web. 
it's got that real sort of um, 1993 chat room kind of feel, which, you know, that might well be your jam. It's got like a menu down the left hand side. It's got sort of browsing profiles, messages, chat rooms, gift shop. It's got Clubhouse TV, which kind of relates to, I think they, the, the, the people that do this also produce uh, sort of like a live porn, porn channel TV, TV kind of thing. So there's lots of links to that that let you go and view that or pay for that if that's what you want. I think it's called chi- uh, Click Flicks. Flip, 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 flip. <laughs> porn videos. <laughs> I can't even say it. It's got like a videos and pics area. It's got stories, blogs. Yes. Um, it's got a ticket support system as well. So if you've got a problem with the site, you can actually raise a ticket like you're mm-hmm. talking to your IS department. Yeah. Which I, I kind of liked. Good. However, when we looked online, I mean, we're, we're on and again, it's it's Saturday. Um, it's just gone past noon, you know, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven people live on it. Oh, no, I've seen it with a little I'm online now yeah. thing. Yeah. And looking at the profiles, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think five of those are penises and the rest oh, of them tend yeah, to be um, blank guess holding who? guess who pictures. Do I wear glasses? Yeah. <laughs> Do I have a beard? <laughs> so the other thing that I want to, want to point out is so when I did post on Twitter about the uh, about seeing this site, the creators did get in touch. Yeah. And they provided a lot of information about the security mm-hmm. levels of this site. So, you know, fair play to them. You know, hands up, jokingly said about credit card information. But actually, mm-hmm. it sounds like, and again, I'm not an expert in this, um, they've done some due diligence around what happens with your data. Now, what I will say from a security perspective, it's a free site. So whatever you post on there is absolutely in the public domain. So mm-hmm. if you put any, any details or any information on your page, on your picture, whatever, anyone can go and see that. So if that security is an issue for you, you need to be mindful of that. I'd say that with all of these sites and that, you know, you can get on with a free account for most of them and have a look around. Keep that in mind. So yeah. if you're security conscious. I agree. You don't, you need the buffer of maybe paying for services so that you you can hide that and you can be anonymous if you want to, to any anyone who could just browse the site. Yeah. Yeah. So looking through the site, I mean... A lot of penises. <laughs> there's a lot of penises. It's a lot of single guys. Um, I don't think there's much of a sort of verification kind of thing going on. It's just basically a uh, a chat thing. It, it's the sort of thing, and, and I don't know, it might well be associated with a club, that if if you go onto the club, then you could go into this place to also chat and yeah, talk maybe. with people that are going there. And in that sense, I guess it's absolutely fine. In terms of uh, finding new people, it, it didn't really work for me because I, there weren't just enough people. And the the way it looks and feels just doesn't feel good to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm and I know I'm intolerant and I know I'm very... Um, judgy sometimes, but I am actually really put off by the sheer amount of profile pics that are appendages. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of dick pics going on, and and that doesn't make me want to click and get to know that person. Clip because, oh yeah, maybe. But I I don't want to know more because mm. that if that's what you're selling me with, that that's that's your kind of hey, come and chat to me and get to know me. That's your penis. I don't want to get to know that yeah, because I, I'd like I, to know you. <laughs> I think this is a universal problem with sites. And I think that there needs to be some means, of, you know, for some people, um, you know, I'm sure a penis profile is absolutely their jam, but I'd rather be in a world where you could uh, either turn that off or they're, they're not able to post a picture of their penis as a thing. And I think, yeah. you know, that it there needs to be for me a level of, um, I don't know, just, it just cheapens it for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid. But and if that's, that's your my opening opinion. Move. That is my opinion, and I understand that some people like that. Of course, they do. But for me, it doesn't feel like that. That is going to cultivate um, a, a, a nice, promising kind of connection. Yeah, I agree. It just feels like you're leading with your penis. That's what you want to get me in with. And normally, I just think with my penis. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, to be fair, it's a, it's a free site. So, you know, yeah. go and have a look. Check it out if you fancy. Um, it's got like a sex toy store. It's got lots of different things on there. And it, it kind of feels like it's got the bare bones of what where it needs to go. It just needs to feel better and be a bit more, I guess, wholesome, but a bit more nice as an experience at the moment. Yeah, it feels just, just feels a bit like a sex thing. Yeah. I mean, if you feel like fab is like going back in time, mm. this one is another five years before that. I would say. And I'm sorry, folks, it just, yeah, doesn't cut the mustard. Anyway, right. So um, next one. 
Mrs. H, which one is this? Oh my goodness. I can't even Oh uh, okay. Excite. Excite. Excite dot <laughs> UK. Uh yeah. Excite. Um okay. So this um this has been I've heard this mentioned by a, quite a few people. Mm -hmm. It's it's been mentioned in multiple kind of, you know, chats that we have with various people. It's been mentioned on Twitter quite a bit. Uh, I have heard people talking about this could well be a contender to Fab in some ways because they're trying to gain traction more and more. And I think the the designers or the makers of it are trying to do more. Yeah, I, I think a number of people have, have been in touch to say, hey, check this one out from club owners to to friends of ours. Yeah. So we thought we'd, we'd, we'd pop in and have, have a look. And again, I think this, this one is all free. Is it? OK. I think so. Yeah. Um, I could be totally making that up, but, mm -hmm. but certainly I think it is free. Uh, when we went on, I think there was like 1,500 or so people online. Well, not online, but members. Mm. At the moment, it says there's 22 members online in the chat. Oh, yeah, so it does. So, you know, that, um, that's a small number. It's a small number, but, but equally, equally yeah. there are updates on there. Mm -hmm. There's like literally updates that have uh, that have been posted 19 minutes ago, an hour ago. Um, you know, a couple of hours ago. So this looks a bit like Facebook to me, it's a little of, bit when think, you log into Facebook on a PC. Yeah, it's got a touch of that. It's got a nice sort of blue bar across the top. So it's got like a, a messages and alerts thing and yeah. settings and then uh, menu options. It's got home, uh, clubs and groups. So it's, it promotes a lot of groups and club mm. type stuff quite a lot. It's got events. It's got members. They have competitions. They have albums. The album thing is interesting, actually. They you, And music. You can listen to music okay. through this or, or quite nice share playlists or whatever. Yeah. Uh, there's a forum, there's information pages, there's Ask Share. What, like Agni Ant? Well, I think there is a bit of a, like, you know, a, ask someone who's uh, sort of got some experience All in right. that stuff. Yeah, I like there's that. There's chat, there's videos, there's blogs, there's polls, music, invite, meets. There's a lot going on there. There's a lot <laughs> across there. But I think that's a fairly good level of, of information. It definitely does have a bit of an interface that I'm quite familiar with, even though I've not used this, because it just feels a little bit like navigating Facebook. Yeah. Uh, it's got a very linear kind of progression across the top around. There's alerts, there's messages, there's settings. It, it's very clear that where you go to do something. So yep. that, that's actually really nice. It's got a, a location-based kind of search mm -hmm. facility, which is quite nice. Not all the sites have that. It's got um, like the profiles come up and they're pardon me, quite nicely displayed. So, you know, as, a, as an actual site, it's... To look at, it actually looks Better than right. the, the last two, It looks I'd good say. on the eye, I yeah. would say. Obviously, there's a bit of a challenge in that there's not that many people on there at this point in time. No. And it is free, which means that anybody can come along and sign up. Yeah. So I think there's not so much... Um, yeah, there's 1,540 members found so far. So there we go. It's grown since I wrote this the other day. So, I, you know, I think that it's 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 kind of an all right feeling sort of place. It just doesn't have the numbers yet. It's kind of fairly nice to navigate on a on a laptop, I would say. I haven't tried looking at it on my mobile so much. And actually, I'm not sure um, how often I would look at something like this on a on a, a computer because I tend to do more of my browsing on my phone. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's the most important thing is, can you look at it on the toilet at work? <laughs> and can you look at it when you're wandering around your supermarket and I'm dragging you around doing my shopping and you're trailing behind me like an annoyed teenager? Yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> so I, in terms of this site in, in mobile usage, it's not not brilliant. It's not awful mm, either. It's okay. kind of, it's not the best experience, I would say, but actually it's it's functional. Yeah. Um, so I'm assuming this doesn't have any app. It is just um, web. Yeah, it's just a of, web yeah, thing. Yeah, as far okay. as I can tell, I've not seen any apps for it. And it, apps, okay. it's certainly not advertised on the thing. No. So, you know, I, I think for this one, it's it's quite a middle of the road piece. It could grow into something that's more popular. It certainly has. I, I like the fact that it has connections to the clubs and the groups. So you can engage with people like Townhouse and, you know, mm. right up front, Vicky from Townhouse is on there. You can see her there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I like all of that sort of stuff, um, which is something that Fab is fucking terrible at in terms of, mm. you know, connecting people with venues or content producers and all this sort of stuff. So I, I like that part of it. I think it could be, it could look a bit, a bit nicer, but, you know, it, it's kind of, 
like you say, Mrs H, Facebook like. It really does look a bit like Facebook. Um, I, I think maybe this just needs to grow some traction and get more people on there for it to, you know, progress. And, you know, I kind of hope that happens because it would be good to see how it grows. Yeah, I think so. I, I would say, you know, again, it's another free site. Go and have a look. Just be mindful of the privacy around free stuff. Yeah. Um, because anyone can see what's posted there. Um, they do have a lot of information about their privacy policies and their data policies, um, which is all very good, good information and good useful mm. stuff. It's just you just need to remember if you're posting anything online, it is online forever. And particularly if there's no barrier to entry, for example, uh, verification or um, money. Yeah, fair. that was kind of kind of my one. Right, the last one that we've got for today <laughs> is Schwinger's Barn. Is that how it's pronounced? <laughs> uh, I think it's just pronounced Swinger's Barn. Swinger's Barn. Yeah, so this one is, um, it's a really, relatively new one. Um, and there's not a massive amount to it at the moment. Um, I believe it's linked to a venue that's going to open in Leeds. I think it's Leeds. It's Leeds. I it think. certainly seems to be affiliated with some kind of event that's happening in August maybe from memory. Yeah. I think I've seen some some bits of info around there's going to be some big kind of party thing and this kind of is the 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 thing that goes along with that. Yeah. But also it has the function to connect you with people. Is yeah. that right? I think I think that's the kind of thing. I mean it it looks very very basic. Um, yeah. Because it can't do very much at the moment. It is very basic. It, it is. Um, it's five pounds a month to, okay. to to verify it and to to see your messages and all that stuff. Um, it feels like um, I'm, I'm trying to get a bit of a beat on how many people are uh, you know sort of in there in total, but I can't really see how many um, how many members are in there. I can't. I don't I can't really it's... see. Just looking at it, it doesn't really tell you. It doesn't have like a little a little button saying how many people are online at the moment from what I can see. Yeah, it's it feels like it's much more about connecting people. Um, now, what I will say um. before I go into the site <laughs> is around their, their Twitter approach, which I get that everyone has a different, uh, a different uh, means of marketing, a different look at things. But the whole twi uh, Swingers Barn thing... They do post a lot of very graphic, sort of orgy based or it hardcore really, fucking really scenes. It really is graphic. Yeah. And, and it's obviously not that. It's not them. It's they're just, I'm assuming, using just images of orgies. Yeah, I to think so. I, I don't think it's necessarily them, might well be, but there is a lot of. Um, Coxcomb fannies. Yeah. <laughs> like more than you ever need to see as soon as you wake up and turn on your Twitters. So I was initially very yeah. put off by by that advertising because for me or, or certainly for us that that sort of a, that hardcore approach in the lifestyle isn't isn't our favorite thing but that doesn't mean we don't want to be a uh, part of a lifestyle yeah and that's the thing i think it, it feels for me like it is it, it's all about the fucking it's aimed very much at carnal pleasure and hey get your fuck on kind of thing and i'll, I'll also say and i know i do you know say mean things but <laughs> What really, um, okay, what really put me off maybe about some of the promotional stuff I've seen is that it it kind of implied that you're not a swinger if you didn't like this kind of thing or something along those lines. It yeah, was kind of like, bit of that. don't bother looking if you're not like a bit of a perv or, you know, this is for real swingers only kind of thing. And I'm I'm kind of really worried about that use of what's a real swinger and you don't have to want to be involved in an orgy to want to be a swinger, if that kind of makes sense. I agree. I think there was also something around the fact that all of the videos were sort of very uh, Adonis, very yeah. sort of fit bodies, which is fine. You know, clearly I fit into that. Uh, I can't <laughs> no, even finish that. Haircut. Yeah, oh, exactly. No. Um, from from sort of eyebrows upwards. Fucking amazing. But uh, <laughs> honestly, I, it, it felt a little bit like it was like, so if this is your approach and this is what you look like, this is the place for you. Yeah. And I think if you're, you know, if you don't look like that or you're in any way not, or, or you're very body conscious in some way, or you're a bit nervous or a bit tentative about any of this stuff, then this may not be for you because yeah. it might very rapidly put you off or terrify you. Now, what I will say is from a design perspective, actually going into the site, it looks nice. Mm. I like the feel of it. It's, it's quite clean looking. Quite very clean looking. I mean, to be fair, there's not much you can actually physically do in yeah, there. Yeah, but there's not tons of boxes distracting you everywhere with like 
what, what do I click on first? I'm just so overwhelmed by the sheer like volume of stuff that people can stick on a page. This looks very, very basic. It does look very basic, but I like the fact that it's very clean. It feels mm. very nicely done. And it's kind of easy to, well, it's easy to navigate if there's only two different things you can do, but but it has the, the, the functionality type piece of the way it comes across is quite yeah, nice. The no, UI is quite cool. What I forgot, did forget to mention, actually, going back to Silver Swingers, that has irritated the shit, and I'm sure it's a setting you can turn off, but they email us every six and a half fucking oh, seconds. Yeah, Seriously, do. I've never had so many fucking emails. <laughs> and I'm positive that not one of them is fucking real. No, I agree. Anyway, sorry, that was a little bit of rant about them again. But anyway, mm. back to Swingers Barn. So, you know, it, it, it kind of feels like this is just a beta version or a very much a work in progress and is starting to build it up. The search facility, for example, unless you put the exact name of the town and someone else has put that town mm. or village or whatever it might be, then it doesn't pull that up. So it needs to be location based so that if you were, you know, you put in your postcode, it gives you how many people are in the nearest 50 miles, 100 mm. miles or whatever. That type of stuff is much more effective for connecting people. Now, granted, this feels like because, again, it's a site that's connected to a venue that it's probably a good place to chat to people before you go to Swingers Barn when it opens up and get a sense yeah. of what's going on, what it's like, and chat to the admin. Now, the admin have been in touch a number of times mm. and that's been quite good. They've been helpful and they've they've been present and they post. So you get the sense that there is someone there and able to help you. It doesn't feel like it's it's all a bit of a scam or anything. No. no. I, I feel very um, reassured that you know, the people behind it and are genuinely aiming at the right place you know they want to help and they want to you know pr promote and cultivate something I, I again i just felt a little bit put off i think by the constant you know roman orgy kind of stuff on twitter because it just terrified me a little bit yeah there is that and i think that you know they do post some of that stuff within the thing i'm just scrolling through the wall that's on the main page lots and there's of, lots of willies and stuff. well you know there's lots of a mix of sort of porn gifts and what mm. looks to be sort of model shoots, but also then people posting their own stuff, which I, and it's, it's, I always find it a little bit strange when you get sort of really nice pictures contrasted with just average Joe Soaps posting their pictures because it, it, it is a really strange juxtaposition between the two. It is, it really is. But again, and I suppose my question of all of this stuff is what, what do people want from a site? And people will want different things. Not everybody is going to be looking on a site just to get some action. You know, lots of people are going to start checking out sites because they genuinely just want to speak to like-minded people and dabble a little or or just find out more. And they just want to meet people socially maybe and then get to know them. Not everybody just wants to dive headfirst into some kind of mad orgy. Yeah, and I think this doesn't, necessarily enable that kind of there isn't the facility to really chat that much here in a sort of forum like way or a kind of mm. hey nice to meet you it feels very much about the jump action. straight to the action but i just i think this is an observation generally about all the sites we've encountered yeah, um and I'm, I'm not saying you know, obviously we're all in this kind of um activity because ultimately there is a level of wanting something to happen within your relationship yeah it's fair to yeah, say yeah. that you're probably looking into this because you want to do something or find something or speak to people. But and I think all the sites are kind of trying to coerce you down this route of, hey, well, now you've decided to take this step. What you're obviously going to be looking for next is some action. Let's help you. And that's I don't it goes want from not to fuck yes, really. Yes, it really quickly. does. I think what what I kind of miss on these sites, not that I've seen it necessarily, is almost like a kind of um, the ability to chat and have it very sort of almost above board when you're sort of meeting people, but having a tick that says, yeah, sort of, mm. you know, you want to go to cockpits or you want to go mm. to whatever so that you can escalate to that. Because I think that's important. Some some people, that's really their approach. And, you know, my, you might be listening, screaming, us saying, well, no, I just want to fuck. I don't want to build these relationships. I don't want to cultivate things. I just want to be fucked. Um, but there needs to be a means of kind of filtering that so that if you're messaging someone who doesn't want that, it lets you know that information. So it either gives you that information in their profile or, you know, if you're sending a picture, it says, OK, these people don't want graphic pictures un unless they've permitted that for you, in which case it blocks you from doing it or something to that effect. Now, I'm going very much into solution mode, but it feels like you need to be able to offer the two paths 
the conversation, the relationship building, the initial piece. And then if you do want to go to the to the rude and fruitier stuff, fruity oh my, mm-hmm. um, then you can do that. And I think that's the bit that, that doesn't quite work. This all seems to be very much everything chucked in. It doesn't really matter. There's an assumption that everyone wants to see the pics. And maybe they do. Maybe it's just us. Well, no, I don't agree because the amount of times we've been contacted by people or entered into chats with people and you know generally speaking most people have said things like oh we like to get to know people or hey it'd be really good to chat for a bit and get to know you a bit more Uh, and even some people's profiles say exactly the same you know they're like oh we're very much in love and what we're doing is this and we'd like to get to know people and get a connection a lot of people i think have that shared approach i think there is something about the there is a period of time where you where it's nice to build a connection and if you know if you want to go at go to the sort of rude level then that's great but you hey, need but- you need to be able to help i think and this is where i i think again fab lets itself down is that there's no there's no functionality around this type of stuff there's no um admin there's no uh support to kind of mm. stop this sort of stuff or at least filter it in the right way it just kind of is what it is what it is and you're expected to to sort of have to go through all these things it'd be lovely if you could just tick a box and it just filters out 90 percent of the shit for you and it would also be nice if i think people responded to your concerns that maybe people are fake or are stealing pictures and that kind of thing when you report something it'd be good to know that yeah. someone actually takes that seriously because we all take our data probe you know seriously well that's the thing and you know uh, having gone through having had a, a mm. pictures stolen on Fab quite recently. And it happens to a lot of people. It does. It's really upsetting. You know, I get that it goes for territory a little bit, but people get lazy and they can't be asked to do their own. But you're like, oh, why doesn't someone stop that? That's actually I mean, not this okay. This isn't even me sat here. This is someone wearing a picture of Mr. H. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I got away with it too if it weren't for you pesky kids. The hair was just a little bit too quiffy. <laughs> Rocky, froggy. <laughs> So, yeah, I think there is something mm. that can be done around that. Um, and it would probably require me to sit down and actually think about it to, to kind of figure out what the solution could be. Yeah. Or maybe you should build your own. No, no. That's <laughs> the last thing we need. And the other thing that what I don't want is is for some sort of mega site to come in and buy all the different ones that exist and, and scoop up all those people. <laughs> I, in an ideal world, I'd like a new site to organically grow and develop in the right way or for Fab to actually learn from from the feedback and the mistakes. But, yeah, you know, yeah this, that would be good. This is pipe dream stuff because, you know, at the moment they're raking in the cash, they don't need to change it and people aren't leaving in their droves. They're really not. If anything, because it's the biggest site, when people get back to normality, which is starting to happen, mm. more and more people will probably sign up to Fab because... That's what they want to do. And that's the one where you meet the most people. It is, it is. Um, and we're not reviewing Fab today. No. However, it, we do keep coming back to the fact that, yes, that is, it feels like the the, the biggest or most popular one. It is. But, but mm, all right. Anyway, so Swing's Great gone. point. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, you know, don't want to steal the thunder for the next one. Well, that's true. So uh, I think that's kind of, I think we've talked enough about these these few sites. What I would say is go and have a look at them, check them out and see what you think. Um, if you're a member of them and you're using them successfully or you've used them to get meats or whatever, get in touch. Drop us a line at bedhoppersuk at gmail.com um, or chuck us a thing on, on Twitter, bedhoppersuck. Um, <laughs> because, you know, it's really important that we hear about some of these things and see how you're feeling about it as, as users who are living it. And, you know, you might well, are you on more than one site? That'd be interesting. So are you on tons? Are, do you yeah. just stick, is fab your go-to? Do you go for the sort of the more American ones or the European ones like mm. Spicy Match, SLS, all that sort of stuff? Yeah. I'm I'm really interested to to see what people are feeling about this whole thing. And, you know, and if you've got complaints about Fab, you know, I'd be interested to, to hear what they are and what you would like to see from it. Not that we can do fuck all about it, oh, but it's nice to talk about it. And, you know, haven't we to them? So. As I said before, we can't really go out and do anything right now. So this is the content that we can provide. Yeah, but this is the good the good part where you, you do have a little bit of time before people can go and start meeting properly again. Then actually now is the, a good time to start like looking at sites and getting to know some more people and line up some kind of, you know, meets and social dates and that kind of mm, thing. Meet. <laughs> <laughs> Which reminds me, we have um, candied bacon. Oh, uh, we do. How exciting. How exciting. Look, I us. think I think ultimately everyone wants something a little bit different from whatever site they choose to use. I want the moon on a stick. <laughs> and that's fine. I mean, some people just want, 
you know, a kind of networking thing. And some people actually love the 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 whole kind of pornographic angle with all the pictures. And that's great as well. And we're not here to yuck someone's yum at all. We're really not. It's just there, there should be some kind of nice, happy balance somewhere. And I think it's just interesting to know what's out there and how you can best utilise it for what you want. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely agree. Um, you never agree with me. Well, I'm going to write this down. Are you? Enjoy. I don't need to. Actually, it's out there now. <laughs> it's out there now. I'm going to edit this bit out. No one's ever been this clever. He agreed with me. <laughs> <laughs> Hurrah! It's a day for the, for the diaries. Eighth of May. He agreed with me. <laughs> <laughs> this day shall go down in history. No, I must have agreed with you at one point. Because I married you. Ah, oh, yeah. Don't try and diffuse me with charm. Yes, charm. It's because it's our anniversary soon, isn't it? <laughs> trying to butter me up. <laughs> Definitely that. <laughs> Not linked to the candy bacon. Exactly. Right. So on that note, um, yeah, please get in touch in terms of what you feel about all these different sites. If you've heard of some that we've not mentioned today, I know we've only picked four out of the millions that are out there. But we'll do more. Yeah, we're, we're going to cover more. more next time. Yeah, we're going to cover more next time. We just didn't want to like chuck them all in and well, just not do justice of having a look. Well, what Mrs. H is really saying is that she wanted adequate time to moan about the things that she's seen. Not true. I was thinking about dark web again. <laughs> <laughs> On which note, let's go dark web each other. Miss H, do your thing. What does that mean? Dark what? web each other? Does that involve some kind of evil Spider-Man? Spider-Manning in the dark. That's okay. Right. Yes. On that note, definitely. Thank you for hopping into our bed. 